Hi, uh, I'm going to do this once again because there were a couple of people who had some questions about how to put the harnesses on the birds. And I'm not going to use one bird, but two birds today. I'm going to start with little Chansey here, and then I'm going to go on to Scouty. So we'll start with Chansey, who is actually the easiest customer. Okay. Here we go. So we start with this. It's always going to be the same. Your harness is always going to be set up the same every single time that you do that. This part, you're seeing it the opposite that I am, but this part is always going to go to your left. Right now you're seeing it on your right side, but it's to your left. And the neck portion of the harness is also always to your left. The reason is because this large loop goes over the first wing. And the bird will get used to that, and you'll put it over his or her head. Let's put it in like that, and then right away, put a wing in. But you want to make sure that you don't get any of these feathers caught in the harness when you're pulling it out to the little underarm here, or underwing. Right? And then, before you tighten any of this up, you're going to pull it out to this side. You probably can't see that very well. So you pull it out to this side. Make sure you don't pull it too hard because you don't want to drag other feathers into it. So as soon as you have that loop, your loop now on your left side, you're going to turn the bird around. Turn the bird around. You can have it like this, but so you can see it. Turn the bird around. However it is easiest for you to handle. Lift up all those wings, all those wing feathers, and make sure that none of them get caught underneath the strap when you tighten it up. See that? She's actually very compliant. Lucky for me. But some birds are not. In which case, you'll see that with our next bird. He's not very compliant at all. So then you'll tighten this up. Keep tightening this up. And notice, uh, I had a couple questions about that, but notice that the, the buckle is on the bottom side of the bird. Because if the bird does take off, they're not supposed to, but if the bird does take off, this way it won't flip them around. Because if it's on their back side, if it's on the back, and the bird flies off, the bird will come to the end of this leash and flip upside down. You don't want that. So. There it is. Just like that. Not too tight. You want them to be able to breathe. And tighten that up there. There we go. How's that? Hmm? We think about that. Now we go on to our next customer, our tough and rough customer. Let me second reach down here. I have him quick, easy access. <laughs> he didn't like being in that box, I know. How you doing, big boy? Hmm? And he resists everything I do from get go. So I'm going to do it the same way bring this next section down to my left side of the harness. The large loop is on my right side. The leash is on my left side. Always the same way. And here, he's actually still pretty good with, he's pretty good with putting his, his head through, but that's about it. The rest of it I have to kind of force him. <laughs> So, he's very resistant. Okay. Good, good. Not too bad today. Maybe it's the camera that's making you nervous. Oh, but his feet are pushing really hard. He's a very strong bird. And I, I know there were some comments about how difficult it is to deal with uh, your pet bird because they're trying to get out of your grasp when you're doing it because they're afraid of it. He's not afraid of it, but he doesn't like it. And your bird may be afraid of it at first until they learn what it is. But after you do it a few times, they'll get used to it. Oh, see that? He's struggling. He's very strong, very strong. So you have to be prepared to use your hands, sometimes three hands. In other words, your mouth, you know. Um, and I'm always using my 
I have to bring down. I'm always using my chest as well. I, I push them up against my chest with one of these hands. And the other one I use to check feathers, make sure that I'm not catching any feathers when I'm pulling the harness through. That's always important every single time. I never want to make it a painful experience for them, physically painful. Emotionally, I, I don't know. That's that's their thing. But so I always check those, make sure you catch no feathers. It can be very, very painful. And then pull it through the harness. Pull it through the harness. Once again, the harness is on their chest, not on their back. You're gonna pull that first strand through the harness. First part through the excuse me through the buckle. First part of the strand through the buckle. And then the other side of the buckle to tighten that up completely. And uh, what you'll see with him is that <clears throat> he may have, well, yours may as well, but he has difficulty when I put it on. He can't seem to keep his balance. See that? And it's just because of this harness. Very difficult time keeping his balance. Goes back and forth. So, yeah. So I, th I recommend when you when you have a bird on a harness that you... Don't give them too much room to fly, because they're not flying harnesses. That's just if you, if they do fly, you can catch them, but they're not meant for flying. Yeah. So you're just taking this outside. You're keeping your bird safe outside, making sure he doesn't fly away, but giving him a fair amount of freedom. There it is. All right. I hope that helped you.